everyone. Thank you for joining us. Happy Thanksgiving. So today we have a very big announcement to make. All right, guys. So we're changing the channel name from Video Game Gnosis to The Whiskey Gamers, as we feel that this is a better fit for what the channel is about. As you all know, we really love video games. Um, we think they're really fun and great, but what's even more fun and great is having your video game with a nice glass of whiskey. So we feel like this is just more representative and it's more straightforward. So that's why we made the change. Regarding the old channel name, Video Game Gnosis, uh, Gnosis is the Greek word for knowledge. So I guess in English, the original channel name was Video Game Knowledge, which has nothing to do with whiskey. So it needed to be changed. And it also caused a lot of confusion with some of our viewers and friends and family alike. So we hope you guys like the new name. And let's move on to our Thanksgiving special. Welcome all. Thank you to those who are returning. And for you newcomers, we are the Whiskey Gamers. And on this channel, we do our very best to provide unbiased reviews of whiskey, as well as entertain you all with video gameplay. Alright guys, today we got a special Thanksgiving episode. We're going to be drinking some Wild Turkey 101 to commemorate the moment. As you all know, the turkey is basically the mascot for Thanksgiving, and it's a great uh, food to eat. And we're going to be playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, this time around, we're going to try to do a little more hunting in the game, and especially try to get our hands on a Wild Turkey in the game. Uh, my wife's getting around to pouring some of the Wild Turkey 101, and all right, let's see what we got here. As you can see on screen, um, we're opening up this, oh, thank you, this uh, animal thing where you can see the different animals in the game. It's a little booklet. And we're looking for that Wild Turkey on there. Yes, oh, yeah. this isn't our first time having 101, by the way. All right, so there it is on screen, guys, the Eastern Wild Turkey. That's what we're going for. We're going to make some good turkey dinner for Arthur and his friends. <laughs> you see him? That's the culprit. That's the wanted man <laughs> on the bounty. Got to get one. If we could get one, more than one, that would be even better. Well, there's our target, guys. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the nose on this Wild Turkey 101. Did you get onto the nose yet? Just about. Okay. Smells nice as usual. Um, oak. You get oak? Yes, like a smoky oak. I'm trying to place, I, I always have trouble with the nose on this. This one? Yeah, I, I like a little, this. It's a little stronger. I don't want to say, I don't want to say mint. I don't know. I don't know what that nose is. I mean, I, I get the. I still get brown sugar. You know, like the, the bourbon uh, notes. It's it's more in the back though. I can get that mint, like some, <laughs> something Strong, like yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This one is a little stronger. Um, well, it's fifty percent, right? Right. Or it's a, uh, you know, it's in that thirty dollar range, thirty three dollar bottle that we got. Um, but yeah, there's something light there, but I wouldn't call it like fruity. So I could, I could see the. No, mint. no, it's it's the rye. I, th I think it's the rye. Um, it's a high rye, rye mash bill, right? Yeah. You wanna you wanna read that that thing you yeah, got on so, the side of the bottle? So on, on the bottle it says, um, more than uh, for more than 60 years, legendary master distiller Jimmy Russell has been crafting Wild Turkey 101 the right way. With a high rye content, this iconic bourbon is perfectly aged for up to six to eight years in American oak barrels with the deepest char for more character. And then it goes on to some um, notes, so let's just see what we get ourselves. I can't quite pick out what that note is. I don't want to say like a rye bread. There's, some, there's something there like... Rye bread. So this is different from the mint note that you get then, because that's very different. Yeah, it's not, I, I don't know if mint is the right word. There's some sort of like... Like a rye bread? I mean, I don't know what's there's some, similar. There's something, no, I don't know if it's rye bread. There's something 
something with the rye that I I don't have a good um gauge. Not gauge. The word uh, like source like um what is that called when you recall? Like you've had something and you can recall. I, I don't have a good um, recall for it. Yeah. Like an experience point for it, like a food that would taste similar or smell similar. Yeah, I don't have that. Yeah. Um. Onto the game real quick, guys. We finally found our target. The <laughs> wild turkey. We're gonna take them out. It was hard to find too. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. It took a long time to find. Let's move on to the taste. Yeah, they, I just wanted to say on the nose also, um, it's really sweet and syrupy to me on the nose, generally speaking. But I want to give this a taste. Wow. That's really good. <clears throat> this gives you the nice warm fuzzy feeling. <laughs> oh, that's really good. I, I got like just an explosion of like vanilla and caramel. I was quick to pick that up. I got um, very spicy and as it's settling, it's getting sweeter for me. Nice finish. I, I, that's that warmness you're talking about mm -hmm. in your chest, right? Yeah. Any, is very it possible comforting. you can show the camera the... Yeah, the color. Yeah, the color. What color would you say that is? Like, um... Amber? Kind of, but it's a little of a lighter, like kind of a cross between amber and light brown. A little on the lighter, but I don't know. Actually, it's kind of reddish. You look down to the bottom. Yeah. All right, back to the game. So Arthur delivered that turkey to the cook at camp. His name is Pearson. And Pearson's going to whip up some turkey stew right here. Yeah. This is Arthur's Thanksgiving meal with his friends and family. All right, guys. So initial rating, what do you want to do? I'm saying, I'm thinking like 7.5. Yeah, this is pretty solid. All right, guys, there you have it. Wild Turkey 101, we're going to give it an initial rating of 7.5. And let's move on to some Red Dead Redemption 2 highlights. Let's go. Give me one reason why I shouldn't put a bullet through your head. Oh, all right, all right. Un under the pillow on top of my bed. Just take it and get out of here. Go. Get out of here and never come back. How about I take that stupid fucking sombrero you wear and shove it so far up your ass you start speaking Spanish? How does that sound? Did your face get swapped for your ass at birth? Your poor mother. Fucking hell. Oh, I have a plan. Do you really have a plan, Dutch? Or you just keep telling us you do? Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. That's a real bad idea. So anyway, I need some food. I'll have mushrooms. This is a traveling circus or something? We're back, guys. We hope you enjoyed those uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 highlights for this Thanksgiving special. And on the screen, we got Arthur Morgan, who is in a Native American settlement or town. 
And um, my wife wants to touch more about Thanksgiving's origins, so. Yeah, just because, you know, I wanted to have some Native Americans on there, or um, Northern American Indians, however you want to word it. Um, Representation. Yeah, uh, because, you know, it's Thanksgiving, which is when, you know, in America anyways, we had the settlers and they had a time of peace with the Native Americans. Um, I think it's, I think the tribe is Wampanoag. Um, I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm sorry. If you're Wampanoag, please correct me. Um, but basically they had a good time of food and drink. They celebrated, uh, for a few days and this led to a time of peace, which was, I think it was over 50 years it lasted. So it's a good time in our history. Yeah. Um, so back to the whiskey. Are you getting anything, any new notes on the nose? Yeah, so, so I'm getting more, um... It's getting more dialed in for me on the sweetness. I get like a, that syrupiness is kind of like a banana bread. Um, I got that brown sugar that you got. Um, and I kind of get like a butterscotch. It's very like holiday-like, I think. Okay, um, real quick note on the game. So this scene is actually very spoiler heavy. Um, so if you don't want it to get spoiled, like in regards to what's going on, just don't read the subtitles because it's kind of telling you, you know, what's... The specifics. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you've completed it or, you know, you're not, you know, it doesn't really matter to you, then go right ahead. But just, just out of respect for those who haven't, haven't played it and I really want to get into it, just, yeah, try to avoid the su- subtitles. Mm-hmm. Um, Did you get something new? You were saying on the bread, right? I don't know. I don't know how to describe the rye note. Like, I struggle with that. But I would like to. I would like to get some rye grain, or something, and so just yeah, get a like handful. A yeah, like, of it. and just smell it and kind of get familiar with it. Because yeah, yeah, my reference point is really off with that. But I will say this about it. This is one of my go-to uh, bottles between this, Elijah Craig, and re- more recently Maker's Mark Forty Six. Maker's Forty Six. Um, so wild turkey. I have a I have a real soft spot for wild, wild <laughs> turkey. So um, you usually have this one around. So nose, I mean, it's brown sugar, um, vanilla caramel. I don't know. I don't. I don't get much of the spice, and I know you said it earlier. For and I, I used to get it. I, I don't get it today for some reason. I haven't gotten in a while. Okay. I don't know if I've just adjusted to drinking it. So you know, like regularly. Yeah. But um, I'm gonna go back in for the taste. For me, the nose is more complex, but the taste is good. But I get that hearty bread, like kind of like rye or multigrain, maybe. That finish. The finish is wonderful. What is it for you? It's just like an explosion of sweetness. And then now, now I'm getting a little bit, it's so funny, I'm getting a tiny hint of the spice again on the tip of my tongue, really weird. Yeah. Also, I just remember I burned my tongue not too long ago with some <laughs> hot soup yeah, so maybe that's part of it maybe that's part of it yeah um this is a wild turkey 101 is a great drink i mean yeah it's nice it has a um a longer finish um it has a, has that nice spice kick um it's definitely higher proof so right that's that's the what's interesting about that is that what, what was it 50 percent, right i think so 50 percent alcohol by volume abv yeah, 101, right? Yeah. So, um, I almost forgot what I was going to say about that. Oh, <laughs> because because it's on the, on the higher side, like most spirits are 40%. So, it's interesting that it's so smooth for being 50%. Yeah. Like, it has a punch. It has like a little kick because it is 50, but it's not like a knockout punch where it's just going to, there, there's very little burn. Right, it. right. And I think even if you add water, which we, we don't do on this channel, but maybe we'll try it one day. Um, and it'll definitely take down that burn. For me, I don't get much of a burn. Yeah. And I, I, how about you? Are you picking not, up any? Not so much. It's definitely um, far more approachable than I was thinking it was going to be, like, you know, the first time I had it. Um, and I am, you know, lighter weight than my husband. Um, but it's it's not overbearing for me at all. Like I, I can drink this, I can sip on this over a period of time, and I would be fine, and it wouldn't bother me. It wouldn't give me that burn. See, it's got yeah, it's got a very slight burn. At, uh, yeah. When you swallow. It is stronger. 
And because it's fifty percent. Right, right. But for fifty percent, like compared to like early times, which you tried not too long ago, which was forty percent early times, remember? Yeah. Um, that actually had a burn. An ethanol had an ethanol note, the alcohol note that. It's, yeah, this one's definitely more buried. Um, which is interesting for fifty percent that you can kind of like. It drinks really, you know, smooth. I guess is the word. Or yeah, yeah, and it's it's really、um, what what I like about this one is it's really well rounded. I mean, time and time again, I take a break. You know, we have some later. We have it back to back. It's always like everything、uh, is complementary. I feel like nothing's clashing.、Um, it kind of just you know it flows flows nicely between the different、um, flavors and notes that you pick up. Yeah, for sure.、Um, I think this is a great bottle for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, this for is nice. For Thanksgiving lunch, whatever you're doing for Thanksgiving, I think that <laughs> this is the theme bottle for you. Yes. Well, for us, for sure, you know. Yeah, it it would go good with like a hearty meal, I think, or just yeah, with some turkey. I don't know, just meat on its some on turkey its own. and ham and、um, <laughs> what do they have? Veal and taters, some some maize taters. and. <laughs> what does what does、Fish. my mom make? That's good. That um the orange. Oh, you, you really the like、yams. the yam. Like, She'll put like、uh, marshmallows on top. It's like she called it candy jams. I forget what it's called. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I don't、it's、remember、really、the name.、Nice. It's, it's really nice. It's super、good. sweet, but you can eat half the pan. That's good stuff. <laughs> but um, what was I going with this? So, great whiskey, one of my go-to's. Yeah. Um, on Thanksgiving, it makes me want to dress like a pilgrim, <laughs> and to, you know, to fit the theme. I gotta say, this game is just the、um, the landscape is just wonderful as well. Yeah, it's really nice. The graphics, specifically this part when they're on the mountain. And it's a different setting than most games too. There's not a lot of like Western games. Yeah. No, yeah, there's not. It was a nice change of pace, or it is a nice change of pace, and I I really appreciate it.、Um, mm-hmm. So. So what what are you thinking about the whiskey? Because for me, it's great. Right, I really love this one. I mean, right now it's just every sip is just more caramel for me. Right.、Um, more and more caramel. I really, I really like that. Like. Yeah, that sweet. Yeah, you really、like、love、sweet. those candied notes and that、yeah. sweet bourbon. Yeah, bourbon. You, re- you really like that. <clears throat>、um, yeah. But I, I enjoy it too.、Um, I think it's nice.、Uh, I think this is this is solid. You know, this is safe. This is a safe bet.、Right. You want to have some whiskey. Grab some one on one. And we know that it, you know, the alcohol content's so high that it would definitely stand up in a mixer too. Like you wouldn't, the, the alcohol wouldn't get masked. I mean, not the alcohol. The, the flavors of the, the wild turkey one on one won't get masked behind a coke or you know whatever you're gonna throw it in. I'm not too familiar with mixing drinks, but um, it's、Most、just got.、Likely. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you could probably use less of it too because it's higher. Higher alcohol, so you do that.、Yeah. probably get away with yeah, adding yeah. a little less. Maybe you're kind of going for that warm, fuzzy feeling. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah.、Um, I mean, I'm. Do you feel warm right now? I feel pretty. Warm. Yeah, I felt instantly warm when I mentioned it. Like I literally was feeling like、mm-hmm. warm and fuzzy. <laughs> But, All right. So, where, where do you wanna where do you wanna go with this? So we started with seven point five. Seven point five, and I, I, I'm for sure gonna go up. Yeah, no, just, it just based on my、up. history alone with it. it. It's solid, you know. It's,、um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I like peaty things.、Um, mm-hmm. I like smokiness. I really like the oak on this,、uh, personally, for my personal preference. But this is, this it's is, such a good whiskey. Yeah, it's good. It's solid. It's,、uh, you can't. I, I remember know, what I was gonna go say.、Wrong. So we've tried Long Branch, right? Yeah. Which Matthew McConaughey is a part of. Which is another wild turkey. So he has that, you know, he has that line. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> But because r- wild turkey has such a high rye content, from now on we're gonna say, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Not I'm getting that, guys. Yeah. Anyway, um, you know, let's go eight point five. Yeah, I、so、agree. We're gonna give this whiskey gamer just a solid eight point five stars out of ten. Um. We just want to wish you guys to have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Yes, enjoy. Any closing thoughts? No, I think that we've said、We're、what we want to, to say. Thank you for stopping in, and、uh, just just wanted to make a point. You know, it is Thanksgiving. Thank you, everyone who comes and supports the channel. Even for those of you who just stopped in,、uh, we really appreciate you. We can't do this without you, and your support means a lot.
Yeah, 100%. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. We'll see you next time.